On Friday, I was mostly focused on the uh, on the nurses program. Um, I was absolutely delighted with the way that that program went. Uh, I was quite excited beforehand, and and it's always lovely to see the sessions unfold uh, and see that they're you know playing out as you imagined or even better. Um, you know, we had a, a, an overview of uh, of current um, topics and current uh, uh, treatments in in CAR T setting, uh, and we had pediatric session within that uh, section. Uh, and then we had uh, a really nice um, treatment update uh, session. So uh, we had a, a, a focus on uh, myeloma uh, from our chronic malignancy working party nurse uh, and also lymphoma. And again, those were those were great sessions. We had lots of interaction with lots of questions after those. Um, I guess one of my favourite sessions was the uh, patient experience uh, session. Uh, I tried to commit to having uh, patient experience sessions, dedicated patient experience sessions in all of our meetings um, over the next years and working much more closely with patient advocacy groups because I think as nurses and health professionals, we have a huge amount to learn from patients that have experienced these treatments. And in our clinical settings, we don't always get the opportunity to hear from them. Um, nurses on the wards don't often have uh, many interactions with the patients once they've completed treatment and are well uh, and so they don't get the benefit of listening to those patient stories um, once the treatment has been completed so uh, really committed to making sure that we hear patient voices and, and hear about our patient experiences during these meetings uh, and we had a great uh, discussion during uh, during that meeting with a patient story but we also had patient advocacy uh, groups and third sector um uh, uh, charities uh, who who advocate for patients uh, in that session as well, and that really made that a sort of really healthy balance of of direct patient experience and nurses also being able to learn about some of the other organisations that sit outside of immediate healthcare and the amazing amount of work that they can do directly for patients uh, and that uh, and it can enable us as nurses. And then of course we had the final session, which was our treatment outcome influences uh, and this was great you know we had a, a sort of a patchwork of sessions in in that uh, last uh, last session um, but really the common ground that they all shared those those talks um uh, nurse education um uh, prehab rehab uh long-term follow-up um a patient case study all of those uh, sessions had in common the fact that they that the interventions all influence uh, patient outcomes at the end of the day. And again, we had some great, uh, great discussion after that session. I think... Um, the one of the things that I, I hope we can uh, develop a bit more next year, again, hopefully we'll be back in person in 2023, is the ability to have those interactions once the talks have, have completed, um, because it kind of felt as though we got a lot of information from these sessions, but it would have been great to really optimise the opportunities to network and learn from each other uh, offline. Um, so that was great. Uh, on Saturday, um, I tapped into uh, some of the physician sessions. And again, I had a, a great uh, patient experience session, uh, absolutely blown away by, uh, by that. That was under the uh, how to set up a CAR T unit. Um, but the patient experience session and the data that was um, uh, presented by Lorna Warwick uh, was was absolutely brilliant. Uh, so that was kind of a real surprise highlight for me. Um, but yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this year's meeting uh, and I hope people are able to catch the uh, recordings of the sessions online.